unique tools, top talent, and customized solutions. These are the lifeblood of Deep South's approach to solving client challenges. Deep South recently put this trifecta to work for a refinery in the southeastern United States. The challenge? To move two 491,000 pound vessels measuring over 99 feet long and over 24 feet in diameter from Aviles, Spain to the client's site in Louisiana. Along the way, Deep South solved many complex challenges including coordinating international shipping, transloading the vessels to a deck barge at the port, and barging them to the client's site, constructing a custom earthen ramp, and executing the roll-off operation. Once inside the plant, the job became even more complicated as we had to navigate a critical mainline rail crossing in nine hours while putting no weight on the tracks, while bridging a tunnel, and encountering numerous limiting height and width requirements, some with only two inches of clearance. Because the client engaged Deep South two years prior, we were able to create custom solutions and execute the job in the most efficient, economical, and safest way possible. Let's walk through how we did it. Deep South worked with the fabricator in Spain to implement an efficient notch saddle design with four foot by four foot removable blocks. To strengthen the saddles for ocean and river transport, these blocks were bolted to the saddle and then removed for inland SPMT transporting. This allowed the saddles to rest on our surely split trailers without increasing the width beyond the size of the vessel and lowering the overall height by four feet, making the vessel sit a mere six inches off the ground. The project required the Deep South locate, design, and construct a new offloading site on the bank of the Mississippi River. After working with the Louisiana DEQ and the Army Corps of Engineers to secure proper permits, we spent three weeks and used 1,000 yards of clay and limestone to physically construct the ramp. The earthen ramp was adjusted to account for varying river stages and high water condition before the vessels arrived. Deep South steel barge ramps were installed and the vessels were secured onto 12-line Shirley double-wide SPMTs for stability during barge roll-off and hauled to a staging area. At the staging area, Deep South removed the 4-foot by 4-foot blocks using a forklift and positioned our 110-ton hydraulic jacking cans with 3 feet of stroke. This allowed us to efficiently reposition the vessels on Shirley split trailers, which minimized the height and width for implant transport. The best implant transport route required that we cross under a live pipe rock, while also starting to climb over a set of three mainline railroad tracks with two critical switch gears, which provided rail access to the entire city. The vessels would only have two inches of clearance while going under the pipe rack, and the pipe rack was only 30 feet from the first railroad track. This made the two foot eight inch elevation change while climbing the railroad difficult to meet. So, Deep South's engineering team carefully modeled the area in 3D to confirm the vessels could be transported skirt first, capturing and studying each moment the vessels processed through this tight area to ensure there would be no contact. In order to maintain the integrity of the rail and also to keep up with the work schedule for the day, the rail company provided stringent guidelines stating that we had nine hours to set up, cross with the two vessels and pick up our materials while not putting any weight on the rails or cross ties. To meet their requirements, we developed a methodical written plan to use wooden blocks with steel plates to keep the load completely off the tracks. Our team numbered each block to ensure placement efficiency. And all this planning paid off. The plan was successfully executed and all materials removed within the time constraints and without damage to the tracks. But as soon as the vessels cleared the railroad tracks, another obstacle came. In the path of the vessel's transport route was a tunnel, which provided access under the railroad track and the area adjacent to it. Power lines in the area limited the use of a crane to set up equipment and the client preferred that no weight be put directly onto the tunnel. Deep South solved this problem by free-spanning the tunnel 
using our self-deploying 80-foot long jumper bridge system, which efficiently eliminated the need for a crane. The system works by first positioning the bridges with SPMTs. Self-launching hydraulic jacks lift the bridge in order to remove the trailers, and then Hillman rollers slide the bridge into final position, in this case, over the tunnel. This equipment allowed Deep South to successfully free span over the tunnel without fear of structural concerns while staying away from the power lines directly above us. The vessels traveled three additional sets of pipe racks to arrive at the final staging area. We again used our hydraulic jacking cans with three feet of stroke to lift the vessels and stage them for the client and other subcontractors to add insulation prior to lifting them into the final position. After working with Deep South for over five years, doing this kind of project over and over again, this has been the by far the most challenging uh, transport job to date that I've uh, had experience working with. Through a precise blend of customized equipment, specialty fab solutions, and industry-leading expertise, Deep South completed this job on time, on budget, and without incident. So, what challenges do you have?